Hallihallo, Rob ons hier, and we have a new notification. Oh, Christmas is here. Christmas time is about to start. It's that time of the year again, and things are getting very stressful over at Santa's Grotto. The biggest problem, however, is that they're a little behind schedule with the toy making. It hasn't helped that all the elves have fallen ill. Santa may not be able to deliver his gifts this year. You have to help them out by working on the daily tasks and events. So let's go do it. Uh, if there's a notification, then there should also be a task in the task bar. Yep, there it is. 10 seaweed feet if we can find Rudolf for the first time. It doesn't matter which day you do this, even if you skip the beginning and you find Rudolf only on, I don't know, like day 15, you will still get the seaweed feed as long as you find Rudolf once. So, let's find Rudolf. Hi, Rudolf. Why, hello there. It's me, Rudolf. It's that time of year again and things are getting very stressful over at Santa's Grotto. Hmm, deja vu. Mrs. Claus has everybody on a low-sugar diet, which hasn't exactly made Santa go ho ho ho. The other reindeer are miserable because of the lack of snow this year, and even Santa's workhorses have long faces. The atmosphere here isn't exactly jolly at the moment, I can tell you. The biggest problem, however, is that we are a little behind schedule with the toy making. It hasn't helped that all the elves have fallen ill. At first we thought they were just suffering from low elf esteem. Hehehe. <laughs> but unfortunately it seems like something more than that. We took them to see a nomeopath, but he couldn't find what was wrong. These are worrying times indeed. It's always wonderful catching up with you, farmer, but I have a lot of people to talk to and very little time. Before you go, I've brought you some gifts for letting me stay on your lovely farm. Here. Take this. Okie dokie. Ha, huh. and we have two violet seeds. Thank you, Santa, or rather, thank you, Rudolf. 2nd of December, and where's Rudolf today? Hey, this looks like the same place as yesterday. Easy peasy. Hi, Vicky. I need some medical advice. Oh, hi, Rudolf. Is this about your nose? It's nothing a bit of rhinoplasty can't fix. Wait, no. What's wrong with my... Actually, never mind. I have some sick elves back at the grotto and they know what to do. They were all fine one day and then bedridden the next. Poor things. Some of them can't even muster the strength to wiggle their little muscle toes. Santa's very worried. Hmm. Well, elves aren't really my area of expertise. I'm a vet, you know. However, because it's Christmas, I'll pay them a house visit and see if I can get to the bottom of it. Thank you so much, Vicky. While you do that, I'll see if I can find a way to get all the toys built in time for Christmas. Okay, and we get one mystery box. Thank you. 3rd of December, and what does Rudolf have to say? Well, looks like I might be here for a while. Vicky said she will take a look at the elves to see if she can find out what's wrong with them. I hope she doesn't charge extra for house calls. I'm not sure their elf insurance will cover it. Now that Vicky is on the case, perhaps I can focus my attention on finding a way to fulfill our toy order. You wouldn't believe how much effort is required building toys for every well-behaved child in the world. It almost makes me wish they were more naughty children. Coal is such a simple gift. I guess I'm going to need to come up with some creative toy ideas. I bet the twins can help us with that. Okay, and we get today three green themed boxes. Thank you. For December. Hey Rudolf. Oh, no story today. Just an example of a toy and four special wildflower seeds. Thank you. They'll be very useful. Remember, remember the 5th of uh, December. Where's Rudolf? Hi boys. Good to see you again. Santa's elves have fallen ill and I need your help. Oh no, are they okay? They'll be fine, I'm sure. But right now I need you two to design some toys. Santa is wonderful at a lot of things, but he is a little out of touch with what kids like nowadays. You can trust us, Rudolf. If we put our heads together, we're sure to come up with some designs that kids will love. Okay, and we get blue humus. Great, thank you. Rudolf, 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 where are you? Hey, farmer, our favorite reindeer came to us last night with a super important assignment. 
He wants us to design some toys for Santa to deliver this Christmas. We already have so many great ideas, but our imaginations would work even better on full stomachs. I don't suppose you have some milk to help us relax and think? Then we have a task to do. What is it? Donate milk. 30 milks. Okay, done that. And as reward we get five sunflower seeds. Thank you. Seventh, first week of Advent is over. Come here, Rudolf. Those twins sure do have terrific imaginations. I have never seen such a variety of toy designs. They've thought of everyone. They even designed a toy to cheer up Santa's workhorses. They call it a pony sleigh station. Whatever that means. The problem I have now is finding a way to bring these designs to life. I wonder if Professor James can help. I went to visit the elves this morning with some music to lift their spirits. We listened to Sled Zeppelin, Bon Bon Jovi, Amy Mulled Winehouse, all their favorites, but they didn't even raise a smile. Not even Alphys Presley did the trick, and he always gets them dancing. The poor little guys must really be sick. I wonder what's wrong with him. Hopefully Vicky can find a cure soon. Oh, before I go, I have another gift for you. Okay. Oh, five special wheat seeds. Thank you. Rise and shine, Rudolf, dude. Where are you? It's the 8th of December. And what? No story today? Just some of a free gift? Three orange boxes. Well, thank you, sir. 9th of December and Rudolf is in town, or at least on the farm. Good evening, Professor. What's this? A talking reindeer? Maybe I need to lay off the eggnog. No, no, Professor. I can assure you I'm quite real. It's me, Rudolf. Ah, oh, so you're the famous Rudolf I've heard so much about. My colleagues and I have spent many an evening debating that big red nose of yours. It's even shinier than we speculated. Tell me, did you get your hoof stuck in a plug socket when you were young? Uh, hit by lightning, perhaps? Oh, I've got it. What about an overexposure to electric eels? On second thought, perhaps you have had a little too much eggnog. But that's not why I am here. I was hoping you could help me build a machine for Santa's Grotto. The twins have designed some amazing toys, but without any elves, we're going to need a machine to build them all before Christmas. Can you help? A toy making machine, you say? Leave it with me! And our gift today is going to be 30 orange fertilizer. Thank you, Rudolf or Professor, I'm not sure, but thank you in any way. 10 December, I'm looking for Rudolf for Rudolf. Hey, there you are. I had the most curious meeting with a red-nosed reindeer last night. Got his nose stuck in a waffle maker in his youth, if you ask me. Anyway, he asked if I could put it together some blueprints for a toy making machine. It is not my normal area of speciality, but science is science. I have some early designs, but need some fruit sugar to aid my concentration and get me over the finish line. Could you possibly help me? Sure, Professor, have some cherries while you're at it, right? Thank you. Ah, I've got enough, you can have 30. And two spinning tokens, thank you so much. The 11th of December. Let's see what Rudolf has to say today. The professor has done an amazing job with the toy maker. I think. I don't really understand a lot of the words on his blueprints. Now I need to ask Steve's screwdriver if he can build the machine based on these designs. After all, he was able to rebuild Santa's sleigh after I took it out for a joyride last year. But that's a whole other story. I visited Vicky again today to see how the elves are doing. She says there has been no improvement. I'm sure they will be fine, but we really need to find a way to help Santa's little subordinate clauses. Oh, before I go, the professor told me you helped him put the machine together. I have brought the gift to thank you for your assistance. Thank you. And we get four rose seed packets. Most kind of you, sir. Thank you. It's the 12th of December and halfway to Heiligabend. So where's Rudolf? 
There you are, dude. What do you have to say today? Oh, you have nothing to say? Just the gifts, just like that. Seaweed feed. Thank you so much. 13th of December and let's get Rudolph, see what's up today. No story to read today, but what a brightly colorful Tannenbaum. Um, Christmas tree that is. And we get a purple box of mystery. Thank you, Rudolf. 14 December, it's two weeks in. Hello, Rudolf. Top of the morning to you, Steve. Well, 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 is it that time of year already? Time sure does fly when you're busy repairing farm equipment. Well, I have a job to take your mind away from tractor engines for a while. Professor James has designed a toy making machine, but I need your skills with a screwdriver to put it all together. Can you help me? Can I help? Does an FT70 model combine harvester engine perform better when fitted with a hydraulic static transmission? Um, I don't actually know. That's generally not a thing reindeers ever have to learn. Well, I can tell you that yes it does, and yes I will help. Okay, so our gift for today is ooh, 20 seaweed fertilizer. Thank you. 15 December and let's visit Rudolf again. Season's greetings, farmer. I suppose you already know Rudolf is back on the farm. Little fella paid me a visit last night and asked me to cobble together some toy making machine Professor James has designed. I'll gladly help, but I'm lacking a few materials. I don't suppose you could help old Steve out, huh? Let's see what it is that we have to do. 60 corn. Okay, so corn is going to help him build machines. I great special rose hip seeds. Thank you very much, Steve and Rudolf. 16 December. Good morning, Rudolf. How are you today? Please tell me what's happening in the land of gifts and toys and Santas. Steve has really outdone himself this time. The machine is working like a dream. Even the naughty children might find something under their tree this year. Now we have everything we need to build the toys, it's time to find a way to cure the elves. Hopefully Vicky has made a breakthrough. Thanks for the update, Rudolf. What do we have today? Two toolboxes. Thank you so kindly, sir. Enjoy your day. 17 December, time to find Rudolf. There he is. Good morning. And we get another gift for free. Two premium humus with a beautiful white and blue Christmas tree to look at. Thank you. 18 days into the calendar and let's see what's happening today in the world of Rudolf and Santa. Hi Vicky, how are the elves doing? Wonderful timing as always Rudolf. I think we have made a breakthrough. I was looking into the elves' diet and noticed that their sugar intake over the last six months has dramatically declined. If there is one thing that elves need, it is a plentiful supply of sugar. You could be right. Mrs. Claus has put Santa on a diet and banned sugar from the grotto. Maybe that's the problem. That would explain it. They'll be fine, but it might be best to find a way to sneak some cookies into their diet. Well, when it comes to cookies, I know just the lady who can help us out. Thank you so much, Vicky. And we get water. Hmm, maybe that is uh, sugar water? 18 December and hello, Rudolf. And a Christmas tree that brings us coins for the school, right? Fukuchu. <laughs> or however you pronounce it, I apologize if I do that wrong, which is money to go to school. And hopefully, unlike Pinocchio, you actually go to school with your money. 20 December, and what's going on in the drama of Santa and Rudolf's lives? Let's see. Season's greetings, Matilda. Well, if it isn't my favorite reindeer, how are you, Rudolf? I need your baking skills. 
I have a group of very sick elves back at the grotto and Vicky Ventura has written a prescription for some sugary treats to lift their spirits. Would you be able to whip up a batch of your famous festive cookies? I have brought you some ingredients. I'd love to, Rudy, but I promised little Lana I would help her build a snowman. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of the snowman and you take care of the cookies. Don't be scared to bake a few extra. They won't go to waste. And for today we have four special corn seeds. Thank you, Rudolf. 21 December, the end of three weeks of Advent. So, Rudolf, what's up, dude? A toy soldier, already and prepared. Open your gift. Sir, yes, sir. And we get a golden, specially themed box. Thank you, toy soldier. 22 December, and we're looking for Rudolf again. There you are. Yes, greetings to you too. These cookies are even more addictive than Mrs. Claus's mince pies. But don't tell Mrs. Claus that. Matilda said she baked 100. But I'm sure I can get away with telling the elves she only baked 90. Hehehe. <laughs> anyway, Christmas is just around the corner, so I guess I'd better get going. Santa is going to be thrilled with the new toys. And the elves are going to be back on their feet in no time, thanks to this batch of treats. Thank you again for all your help, Farmer. Not for the first time you have saved Christmas on Big Farm. I have one last gift before I leave. Thank you, Rudolf. Let's see. To seaweed humus. Thank you very, very much. Can't wait to see what mess you're going to be in next year. But enjoy your Christmas. 23rd of December. Yay, Rudolf. It's the day before Oka's aunt or Christmas Eve or Heiligabend. A Christmas tree decorated with plenty of treats. And what is our gift? It is two mystery boxes. Two bronze mystery boxes. Thank you. 24th December. It's the last day for the Advent calendar. So what's going to happen today? Ho, ho, ho. A red-nosed acquaintance of mine tells me you are responsible for curing my elves. I just wanted to say thank you for all your efforts and wish you a very merry and sugar-filled Christmas. Now, it is time for me to deliver those presents. After a year on Mrs. Claus's diet, I can't wait to stuff my face with mince pies and cherry. Okay, and so let's see, we have a decoration. The same post box that Santa uses. Nice. Thank you. Now I quickly want to show you that if you missed the event, you can still join, no matter when it is. Even if it's on the last day, when you go to find Riddle for the first time, you can still get the uh, Advent Calendar gift for the day. It will give you a message to say that you missed the start, and you can read from the beginning to get the story, but you can still get the gift for that specific day, whenever you joined and go back to read the rest of the story. You can still get the other gifts, but you'll have to buy them for gold. All of them, whether it is a task or just somewhere a free gift, whether you had to read or actually do something, it's all still available there for gold. And when you close the calendar, you can also still get the seaweed reward for finding Riddle. Now, I also wish you a very blessed Christmas.